So when was the first time you went to prison? I went or to prison. Better yet, when was the first time you went to jail? First time I went to jail, I caught a murder case. That's in seventh grade. I was uh Okay, just, stop. In the seventh grade. In the seventh grade. I went to juvenile. And uh Was it your case? Yeah, it was I was a part of a a, a, case, a murder case that happened, a drive by. Um uh, somebody got murdered. Uh they charged me with it. Went to court uh a couple years for it on juvenile. Um I could have been in prison for a long time if it wasn't for the fact that my mom got me an attorney. And it took her a year or so to save up some money to get an attorney to actually get out of that trouble. You know what I mean? So your mom working. Right. Trying to save up money to get you off a murder rap. Right. In the seventh Grade. Seventh grade. We're in the seventh grade. How old are you in the seventh grade? Like 13? 13, yeah. I was about 13, 14 years old. So you were gangbanging? Hey, yeah, I was when I was a kid. Oh, my God. I, was, I, I ended up being gangbanging. Got out of that. Got in trouble again. Went back to juvenile. Um, it just didn't really learn nothing from it, but to go do it, not to even have a being scared of jail anymore, you know what I mean? So it just kind of desensitized you, took the fear of what could right. away. Right. Wow. So, you know, going to jail or being feared of the police or, or being feared of older men or being feared to go to a walk into a cell mm -hmm. with killers and mm -hmm. drug dealers and men that they didn't fear that. It just went away. I could walk into any room with any men and just adapt to my surroundings. You know, and, and from then, the seventh, and then, yeah, and then being a kid, being thirteen years old, right. being locked up with seventeen-year-old boys that look like they're thirty, right? It's, it's. I mean, you're going to go through some things. Yeah, yeah you know, I, I went through so. some things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I, I got my head bashed. I, yeah. you know, I, I had to prove what I had to do. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, I tell kids now. I used to be a motivated speaker for Montgomery County. Uh, you got choices. I, my choices were limited. My choices, I choose the wrong choices. Yeah. You know, when I first went to juvenile, I couldn't learn from that. I didn't. I didn't, you know, and I went to speak to these young men. And it's, it's, it's crazy because I'm going to tell you a story that I was telling them about choices where I went to juvenile and then I went to prison mm -hmm. and, and the things I seen in there happened to people, things I did mm -hmm. to, to survive in there. Mm -hmm. A lot of these kids won't make it in there. Mm -hmm. I seen a lot of people not come home. I seen a lot of people give their life to a prison gang where you got to do something, to, you know, to, for you to just not, not and now just destroy your life. You ain't never coming home, man. And not just, it's just, you don't have to put yourself in that. And and one story I was telling this, I was telling my story to this young, to this, this group, and there was a young lady, and she was like, um, she raised her hand. She was like, Mr. Mike, I have a question. I said, yes, ma'am. So were you married at the time you went to prison? I said, you know what, I, was, I wasn't I was married, but I have mm -hmm. a child mm -hmm. with a woman. Mm -hmm. Did she stay down for you? Mm -hmm. And I was like, well, how can I answer this young, young woman's right. answer to not to be with a man mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. at that time, you know, mm -hmm. to, to be with somebody mm -hmm. to put you through that? Right. You know, so my, my answer was like, look, if I was any type of man mm -hmm. at that time, mm -hmm. I wouldn't have put my I wife, put my through girlfriend it. through that. Because mm -hmm. any man that loves you, mm -hmm. anybody that, that really loves you, care about mm -hmm. you, ain't going to want to do anything that and put you in that situation, mm -hmm. baby girl. So to answer you, to answer you, I wasn't a man. I wasn't, I thought I was a man. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what a man was mm -hmm. at the time. I was a young mm -hmm. man, you know. And, and my answer was like, you know, Anybody that loves you is not going to put you through a, a thing like that. You no. know what I mean? Go to jail, leave you out here with a kid, two right. kids. Right. You know, that's, that's, I was trying to inspire her to, like to don't be around somebody or don't right. feel like you need to be with somebody that's going to hurt you, make you feel alone, and you're going to struggle. Because if a man loves you, he ain't going to do none of that. Because I wouldn't want my daughters to go through that with no. their lives. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? What I did for my daughter, what I did to my daughters, mm -hmm. I raised my kids in jail. Right. 
They know it. There's a lot of young girls, though, that really feel that that is just a, a really, you know, important thing or great thing. They feel like that they're just, they're proving that they're true to them. You know, even in juvie, I know young girls that have waited on boys that were in juvie, you know, right. and, uh, you know, and we just, you know, they're in love and writing letters and all this kind of stuff and was so proud of the fact. I mean, you know, like this man was their husband. And I think it does. It's environment, you know, it's it's environment. But everybody's it's environment. a product of the environment. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's really how you was raised. I don't know how that little girl's mm -hmm. dad was with her. Right, or How right. her parents were. Right. But they, they do what they see, you know? Yeah, they do. And they really do. I, I did it. Yeah. You know, I'm a, yeah. I'm a true fact of that. Right. You know, Even I, though your mom didn't, your dad didn't, right. It was just everything was, I see everything outside that my was house. around you, my God. You know, outside mm -hmm. my household, mm -hmm. it was was loving. Mm -hmm. My brothers loved me. My mm -hmm. mama loved me. My mm -hmm. daddy loved me. Mm -hmm. As soon as I opened that door, mm -hmm. it, was it was another a, world. A whole new world. Whole new world. My God. And 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 that is it's and that a lot of people go through. You know what I mean? Right. And but that's what back to what you asked me where I'm at now. Right. Totally, 100 percent totally different guy. You know what I mean? I'm glad. <laughs> right. I, I'm scared to get a traffic ticket Come now. On, man. I ain't, I ain't trying to go right. to jail. Right. Uh, I'm scared to go to jail now. Right. I'm 41 right. years old. I ain't yeah. trying to go to jail. To man, man mm -hmm. not go to jail. <laughs> yeah, I ain't trying to go to jail. Uh -uh.